Women, you'll want to watch this next story because you are paying more for things at the store just because you're a woman. Researchers call it the pink tax. Fox 17 shows you tonight how you're paying more and why you don't have to. The pink tax. When products for women cost more than the same products for men. There is no time or money for that kind of nonsense. This gender pricing is not a real tax, but a markup on women's goods. With four generations on this shopping trip, Ashley Cawley doesn't fall for diamond dust in this higher priced women's soap. I have four packages of that that I'm checking out with. At a fraction of the cost, she learned this from the 88-year-old great-grandmother of the bunch who survived the Depression. Ivory was there, and we had, uh, you know, ball in the pot, so. We compared Dial's plain body wash at $379 with that female version complete with diamond dust for $549. I'm pretty sure there's no diamonds in there. We also compared women's Olay bar soap at $5.99 to dial at just $3.49. And degree clinical deodorant for women prices in at a dollar more than the same product for men. Men's Gillette shave cream, two for $5.49. The female version with Sugarberry Bliss, nearly $6 for two. But it does offend me as a woman, thinking that if they slap something pink on it and put perfume in it, that I will buy it. This Franklin man rolled up on four generations of frugal females. I'd be frustrated too. <laughs> Schick Hydro Razors for women, eleven fifty nine. For men, ten ninety nine. I'd probably get the men's razor. Why? Because it costs less and it's the exact same thing. They put all these labels on here and what you think, oh, this is so much better, it's worth the cost. Researchers say marketers know more women are drawn to buzzwords and misplaced value on the fancy packaging and product description. Middle Tennessee State University marketing professor, Dr. Don Roy. If consumers perceive there's more value in a razor with a contour design, then they're willing to pay a higher price for it. I want them to be aware of um, ecology and economy so that they can save and get the things they really want and go places they really want to go instead of piddling it away on products that don't make a difference. And that's exactly what this grandma does. She's always <laughs> traveling to Alaska and, and Jamaica. Economists and marketers researched this so-called pink tax and found women are charged roughly $1,400 more a year than men on the very same products. In this unofficial experiment, I bought women's shaving foam, razors, deodorant, and body wash. Then about the same four products marketed toward men. The women's price nearly 34 bucks, the men 29.78. The consumer votes with her wallet and selects other options, then the pink tax might go away or the marketer uh, is going to be challenged to make a stronger case for the value and justify a premium price for uh, products aimed at the female market. Dry cleaners also typically charge women more, but we did find Grace Cleaners in Franklin has no gender pricing, a bright spot in this otherwise costly saga for women. This is a uh, five twenty-five for women, and this is for men five twenty-five. It's the same price. Back at the store, that dial is going home with these gals. Throw in some coupons, and so is serious savings. Quit buying those that are more expensive. Now, because of consumer pressure, legislators outlawed gender pricing already in California, as well as New York and Miami-Dade County down here in Florida, not the whole state here. Feel free to contact your legislator to bring about change. I have a link for you at fox17.com under Fox Links. In the meantime, remember to vote with your wallet when you're at the store.